Hey, it's Clay Trade, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol BIOA. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time frame. I think that's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and just makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I did this analysis yesterday, so that is where all these green and red line annotations are coming from. And I have no idea why I put up so many annotations. I pulled it up and thought, wow, that looks sloppy. So what I'm gonna do is a little house cleaning. Now these lines that I'm deleting, they still absolutely pertain to the chart, but from a presentation standpoint, uh, and you know, my main goal here in terms of, you know, using the KISS method, keep it simple, stupid. I just wanna try to keep this as clean as possible. And you know, just leaving these lines up here does the best job of illustrating the point. Now, what do I think of the chart? Well, from a presentation standpoint, it's this analysis is pretty tricky. Why is that the case? Well, there's so many perspectives that could exist. For example, if you are a day trader and you bought right there and you wanted to sell within seven minutes after buying, then yeah, for you, the chart's looking pretty terrible. Now, if you care about the big picture perspective, I get it. There was a very deep pullback today. But from the big picture, the bulls do still have an opportunity to build a higher base. And when you have higher bases being built over longer stretches of time, that's how those long-term uptrends are constructed. I'm going to be talking about things from a big picture perspective. So if I sound crazy calling something bullish, my guess would be you just had a much different strategy and perspective going in. And really the whole you know, big picture perspective right now all revolves around this green line that I talked about yesterday, right there at about the 50 uh, seven cents area and you can see today did a great job of holding as support and the reason this level is so important is let's say history continues to repeat itself so like i said bounced off there bounced off there so that continues to happen and the price just hovers on around this area before starting to head back up what would you have in this instance well you'd have a set of lows right here you'd have this big base of lows down here picture each of these uh, stair steps, the overall stair steps would still be going in the upward direction. Again, I 100% realize that if you are a day trader and you bought up there, you could not care less about you know th this overall stair step. But that's why I try to kind of uh, warn everybody up front the perspective that I would be talking about. So yeah, today, keyword being today, one day. When you look at multiple days though, bulls still have a chance to build that higher stair step. So that'll be you know definitely top priority going into next week, staying up above 57 cents. As far as resistance, 66 cents, still that key level. But right now, like I said, top priority, not really breaking 66. Top priority is going through a healthy consolidation and building that higher stair step. So we'll see if the bulls can accomplish that or not next week. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.